Hey, my name's Annette. Welcome to my channel, Every Box Matters, where I want to encourage you to pack a shoe box for Operation Christmas Child and share the love of Jesus with kids around the world. Um, today, I'm sharing some things that I found on some Easter clearance shopping and other shopping we did around the same time. Not everything was on clearance that we bought. Jacob actually went with me, my nephew, so that was more fun to have somebody with me and have a kid who enjoys looking and shopping and giving me some input. So I'm actually going to let you him start off by sharing some of the things we bought um and then i'll show you the other things after that okay so one of the things that we found we found these um dinosaur nerf guns and these are around 12 dollars um so it's like a good size but they were on sale yeah but they were on sale and they're like only like five dollars now yes so it's gonna yes. be a great wow and item tons of um five bullets um got um uh, one right here um, it's like a shock back kind of thing. And then you like shoot the, uh, bullet out and then it has like four, um, more, um, spots to put the uh, rest of the bullet so they can all like hold it at once and like they don't like fall out. Yeah. Very nice. Nice product. And how do you like Nerf guns, Jacob? Oh, you yeah. You and your brothers and Jed. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we used to play Nerf guns like all the time, e even, even at, um, our age now. Yeah, we still we still play them. Yeah. So, what age box would you put a Nerf gun in? Uh, around like uh, around like tens to nines. So five to nines or yeah. ten to fourteens would be good. Uh, and since it's a dinosaur Nerf gun, we do have a few other dinosaur items that we might could put. You know, I'm not a big theme box person, but we could add some dinosaur stuff to this one. Yeah. And I think that'd be great. So for five dollars, this was at Walmart. It was in the Nerf gun section. Just look around the store and look at the clearance tags and see what you can find. Oh, and here's oh, a yeah. shoebox. Okay, yep. here's a shoebox. Um, yeah, the uh, side of the shoebox is like your regular shoebox. And uh, it just like fits in flat right there. E either way, like... It fits yeah. in perfectly. Or if you want to do it like sideways, then well... Well, no, you, you wouldn't do don't, that. Don't feel like that. But, so you're going to lay it down. Yeah, or you can like twist it or something. So it's perfect. Another yeah. thing I want to say about the Nerf guns is on the clearance aisle, we actually saw Minecraft guns, didn't we? Yeah. How big oh, were yeah. they? <laughs> um, those were, um, I think... Okay, so those were one of like those like tiny little like 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 one shot. You put it back in. So they had an Ender Dragon, a Guardian, and um, a Ghast. But they were like half the size of that gun. Yeah, yeah. They, and it they came were, with two bullets. Like, about like that yes. kind of size right there where they just like the blaster. And then they like come down and then you would just like shoot it. And do you remember how much those were? Um, I would say like around like $4 or something. They were on sale for $4. Yeah. And this, twice the gun, twice the bullets, plus one, you know. $5. And it was only $5. Much better deal. So I was yeah. excited to see those. I usually don't do $5 for WoW items, but for... For such a good deal like that and something i know the kids will love and you are allowed to send nerf guns i called to make sure and i also found out that you can look it up on the website um i'll look into that some more um and explain it more later okay so thank you jacob yeah. for our nerf guns okay so some more stuff that we bought we got a bunch of um star wars stuff we're making a star wars box uh, <laughs> this was on my idea um so um i i was searching for most of this stuff so tell us what started this off. Um, okay, so the thing that started this off was the uh, was the um, backpack. We found this backpack for around a dollar twenty five. Mm hmm. Um, dollar and it's like a little cute little baby Yoda. So this was at Dollar says, General. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it says Star Wars, The Mandalorian, the baby Yoda, just like your average backpack. And it's normally six dollars. Mm -hmm. But it was in the seventy percent yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. See. Usually mm -hmm. six, but we got yep. it for like one dollar twenty five. Yep, so something like that. So that was a great deal. Um, and then to go with that, um, we found this um baby Yoda cup. It has um Grogu, and the uh yeah yeah um his, his name isn't baby Yoda. His name is Grogu. Um yeah, so Grogu, Grogu, and then the uh, razor crest in the back. Yeah, cool little Star Wars cup. And that was at the cup. Dollar General for a dollar. Uh -huh. So we splurged on the cup. I usually get cups cheaper, but. We were doing the theme thing. Yeah. So. Okay. Then, then we found, um, um, we found, um, this, um, um, Boba Fett at, at, um, Walmart. And we, we were usually going for, like, only, like, Baby Yoda stuff or, like, Mandalorian stuff. But we figured out that, 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 like, getting, like, entirely, like, Baby Yoda stuff and including, like, a plush would be pretty expensive. So we just went for 
a Star Wars box. So everything, so it's like not, not like everything has to be a Mandalorian. It can just be Star Wars. And this um, guy sort of is related to the yeah, Baby yeah, Yoda he's stuff a, anyway. Uh, He's a uh, Mandalorian, just like um, Din Djarin, which is um, the Mandalorian from um, the Mandalorian. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and how much was this stuffed animal thing? Like a dollar? How it was three dollars. Th- three dollars. Okay, and it was marked down. I think they're normally ten, but yeah, for three dollars mm-hmm. stuffed animals, I like to spend two fifty. So three dollars yeah, was bad. We found this on the uh, toy aisle at um, Walmart where I got all these like a uh, Hot Wheels cars on one side, and, like yes. over like random toys mm-hmm. on the other side. Yeah, and this was just like. One thing that I found that thought would be good for the box. So we found that. And then we came back home. And Nett was asking about other things that we should put in the box. And um, and I and I um, and I told her about a, a Lego set that's been um, that's been on sale for a pretty long time. It's the uh, um, Boba Fett's Starship Microfighter. Which is supposed to be his Razor Crest. They just call it um, Star Starship or something like that. Yeah. Um. Which is um. It's like a scaled down um little thing of his uh of the uh, Razor Crest's ship. Um. And a a mini figure of um of um Boba Fett. Which looks like our stuffed animal, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So two baby other things to um. Mandalorian type um, stuff. Um, but Boba, Boba Fett, Fett things, man. Boba Fett things. things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then, and then I was like, I was like a little like gun thing where you like flick it and like the things like pop out like a gun. Oh, it actually has some action to it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can like flick it up, put them inside. Those little things are standing out right there. And it was, so it was marked down from 10 to seven, basically yeah. $7 and 12 cents. Mm-hmm. And that is, um, for me a lot for a while gift, but really we're doing this one special box. So, and Jacob yeah. said this would really make it and he loves Legos. So I did splurge on that. So this is probably the main stuff that's going to be um, Star Wars-ish in our box. And mm-hmm. we might get some little doodads later on, like a pencil, pencil stuff or notebook or something. Yeah. A coloring pieces. book. coloring book, 85 pieces. Yeah. And so this will be good. Even the Lego set would work for a 5 to 9-year-old box or a 10 to 14. So it's Because yeah. the backpack's kind of small for 10 to 14, but... We'll just trust that uh, whichever age we end up getting other stuff geared towards, that God will give it to the right kid who would enjoy all this. And so, yeah, he was. we were playing with it, putting some of it in the box to see how it all fits. And it'll make it. We'll make it all fit. And yep. we're still going to add all our other stuff. You know, hygiene kit, pencil fold packs. This up or something. Yeah, like fold. fold this up. Or the minute ago, we had it on the side of the box. Yeah. But, so just like... Fold that up, put that right there. Uh, you put this at the bottom. Yeah, we can turn it that way. And then you can just like put this guy on the side. And then I'll just. <laughs> It'll work. We'll make it, it work. It will work. <laughs> it will work. It's, so. It's good. All right. Thank you, Jacob. Okay. Okay. Um, here's something else that we found. Uh, we found, uh, we're, we're planning on making a, uh, Ninja Turtles box. Um, and we found these, uh, cards. These are, like, what they look like. You got, like, different, just, like, stacks of, like, the regular cards and, like, different poses of, like, the ninja, like, skateboards. Um, them, like, holding their weapons, doing different poses and stuff. And then this is what, like, a Joker looks like. With all four of them yeah. on there. And then the, uh, back of the cards. Look like that. Yeah, they're very cute. Yeah, and then the box. There's a the box, and this was yeah. at Dollar Tree. So these yeah, yeah, deck this, of this cards Dollar for a dollar twenty-five. Uh huh. So the little yeah. suits instead of being normal suits, though it is hearts. This is a pizza. That is a ninja star type thing, and this one is yin yang. So depending on which, I didn't realize that was yin yang. Not really crazy about that one. I don't know. And then, but they also had at Dollar Tree these Lego type. Bills. Oh, yeah. So he's mm-hmm. going to put one of those together for us and show us how they're done. Yeah, and they got, um... Or how got, it um, looks. Donatello and, um... That guy. Uh, Leonardo. Leonardo. So we just okay. got two of them at the store we were at and decided we'd um, open one, let him try it out, see if it's worth buying all of them. Because if we got all four, we thought it'd make a nice gift. For $5, you could have all four of them together and put them in the box. And, um... That'd be a nice little Lego type build, wild gift sort of, and we could do some other things to build the box a little more. Oh, we got a coloring book too. I'll go get it while oh, he's yeah, working no. on. He's gonna build the thing. 
Okay, so we'll show you how it looks in just a second. Okay, so this is what it um, looks like now. Um, separated. Um, well, like, like, well, like, the instructions are separated from like the pieces. Um, cut out a little thing to go in the bag, and we got the uh, pieces in this bag. Um, and the instructions are all picture type. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anybody like can a, figure it out. Yeah. Any language. It's just like a regular Lego poly bag. Okay, good. Like, and it tells you, like, how many pieces you need. You just put it on. How about that? Yeah. All and right. It shows you, like, all the pieces that you need for the entire build. All right, good. Well, now we're going to let him put it together, and then he'll show us. Yeah. All right, he got it He got it built. So tell us, Jacob, what you think. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty funny. Like, okay, so it has, like, it has, like, on, like, two faces where you can, like, you can make them to, like, this, like, this, like, white eye face, which mm -hmm. looks pretty funny. And then his, um, regular face which looks like that that's yeah cute. and then that's um this piece right there with like well like the uh, regular regular like, happy. black and white eyes yeah yeah uh-huh it's like it looks like a clown like come to get you if you if you put them on like these eyes <laughs> yeah and then you can like you can like move them like up and down um i guess like um his hands can like turn okay so you can put them like in like a weird pose around be like but the shoulders don't hinge and go forward. No, they no, just they don't. Go they don't go and forward and forward unless you like maybe like take off something. Okay, we don't have to do yeah. all that. All um, right. Yeah, and then but but his legs can um move. His uh his legs can go like um forward and backward. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So it can go like forward, like that, and like the feet can move a lot, and they can also like turn, make them like a like a. Twist out. Okay, so they twist, but they don't hinge so like either. A, like um, they don't come. He's like a little. They're not like a ball and socket or he's anything. He's like a ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> Is he pretty sturdy? You think? Yeah, he's pretty sturdy. I, I know I, it's I hard to so. change that little face mask thing. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. Like, to change. Well, like the pieces, they're, they're they're pretty stiff. Yeah, but 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 whenever you got it like fully built, like. Like, 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 you could, like, still, like, take off, like, 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 some, like, easy pieces. Okay. The, the, the moment that we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna do a drop test. <laughs> okay, the moment that we, that we've all been waiting for. Drop test. Okay, yeah, I did, I did a, um, uh, I did a, uh, um, thing with my, um, friend, um, um, Joel, where we, uh, built, um, a little Lego build, and then we would, like, try to, like drop it down the stairs because there was like a little balcony and like it was like the stairs and you would like go up the stairs to get to the balcony and I had like a little ledge that, that you could see over the stairs and then we were just like whoop. <laughs> and did little, they did yeah. they survive um no we were like like, like no no it didn't survive we were just trying like to see like who's like survived like the most yeah like just... that's hot but thank God. and on to the table where's he at did Still he survive yeah. Did anything come off? Well, it's a little shell. Just the shell. Well, that's not bad at all. Yeah. You gonna do it again? Yeah. One more. Where'd yeah. he go? Right here, and, and everything's still on him. And it stayed together. So that's a really good. That's a good toy for a dollar twenty-five. Uh huh. So we'll probably um. There he is. Very cute. And we'll get the other ones to make a whole little set of the Ninja Turtles. Let me get that. Here is the Ninja Turtles coloring book that we picked up to go with our Ninja Turtle theme. This is a dollar at Dollar General. It is a nice little activity book and coloring pages and such. Um, it'll be fine to go with the, the theme. There, After looking at it carefully, though, once I got it home, there were a couple pages I really did not care for. And so I tore them out. Um, this one, I mean, Raphael's fine on the front, but I don't like this splinter doing this little meditation do thing. And this one as well has him again. So I just tore those two out and it's still a fine coloring book and it looks new. I don't think the child will hardly notice that I took out two, but still it's new and it'll be fine. So just something to think about when you're doing Ninja Turtle stuff. Um, it just might have some of these kind of other themes that you want to look out for. All right, so that was some of the things that Jacob and I found, and those are neat items that I think will make some good little boxes. So other stuff I found was um, actually Easter clearance. I'm going to show some of that right now from Dollar General. They had um, 
cute little stuffed animals. Um, I love these little squishy sizes. These are perfect for shoe boxes. So some bunnies. These are $1.50. Um, yeah, marked down on sale. So that's those. They had minis still around. And so I got some of the minis that were the squishier minis. They have some minis that are kind of scraggly looking. And I only found one of these kind. But these are cute little minis that I think can go even in extra pencil packs for um, filler items or just extra little stuffed animals to fit in nook and, nooks and crannies. But they're very cute. Another Dollar General, I found Play-Doh. Four pack of Play-Doh for 50 cents. So I got uh, some of those. They had coloring books that were um, in the Easter clearance section. So those are 50 cents. These are just nice little coloring books, um, not activity books. And then they had sticker, some sticker books um, for 50 cents. So I'm going to take these sheets and separate them probably, you know, so I can give more children a sheet of stickers. So just lots of spring stickers, all these little Easter Windsor springy type Easter stuff. And then a few little activity books. It's a uh, Peeps. It has a sticker sheet in front and then some activity coloring sheets. So that'll be a nice little extra item there. And then also a Dollar General, not in Easter stuff, but just in their clearance because it's the time of year to get rid of it. I found a bunch of gloves and mittens. So these are were three dollars. So it was a dollar fifty for three pair. But um, these are kiddos, itty bitty kid ones, not just um, adult sizes. So these are girl kids, and these are some boy ones. Oh wait, here's another itty bitty. So I can get for two to four year olds some girl ones. And then this is a four pack for three dollars. So it's better when you can get a four pack. So I got a bunch of gloves and mittens for the kids. And so I was happy with those. Those are half price. So that's my Dollar General um, stuff. I got more of the same thing, but I'm not, you don't need to see all of them. Just, just the samples. <laughs> okay, some more things I found during my shopping. This is not Easter clearance stuff, but it's Walmart clearance stuff. I think I showed you before on another video, just Walmart clearance in the toy section. This is not in the clearance aisle. It's in the toy section. So just roam around and look at all the stickers. Um, I found this pretty Rapunzel from Tangled. And she has accessories with her. And she was $5. That is a little more or about my limit for like a wow item. So I did get that one because, like I said, it's a better doll and has accessories. So I got her. Um, that was in the store. These Barbie dolls uh, were um, $3. And in my Walmart... Um, there were a bunch of empty racks that said $3, so somebody had gotten there right before me. I got these on, um, a Monday, and on Thursday, I'd been there before and had not seen the Barbies marked down, but then I went there on Monday, and all these were. So, there's, um, you just never know. Just keep checking back at Walmart. This was, like I said, in the Barbie section. And, um, so the swimsuit stays on her, but I'll give her some clothes, too, and she can have some things to wear. They had the, uh, Hair Amazing Dolls. I've been looking at these. These are normally like $6 dolls, $5.88. And they've been marked down to like 3 and $4. And I just was going to wait a little longer since they weren't that expensive brand new. And these were marked down, like I said, on the Monday I went. And instead of the Thursday, they were still like the 3 and $4. And Monday, they were $1 and $2. So I grabbed the ones that were left um, of those at my Walmart here. So that was cute. I picked up the little Chelsea dolls. These were $2.00. The little blue hair girl and i can pair her with one of these colored hair amazing girls since they have that fun hair um this is chelsea she was three dollars yes three dollars chelsea with some little accessories it's just the one that's the little business so I take them out of business like a boss i can be a boss office manager i would take them out of this and put them in a um organza bag and that'll be cute and then Oh, with the, uh, since I got the Rapunzel girl tangled and the Lego section. No, this was actually on the clearance aisle, but it's a Lego tangled thing, and it was $4. But that's um, a pretty good price, and going with the idea of a theme, this will go with that. So I just went ahead and got it. Um, thought it would be a nice accessory to go with that box. These girls, since everything was on clearance so much, I decided to look online when I got home. And these were not in my store, but these were online for $5, and they're normally 12 So I thought I'd get a few of them. And so I did. So I thought that was great. Um, in the boy section, I found the garbage truck. There was only one left. And garbage trucks, I was kind of like, well, do other kids know about garbage trucks so much? I don't know if they do or not. But my son, when he was little, we watched garbage truck and machine videos, and so... 
he enjoyed them and loved them. And so for his sake, I got it. And it makes noises. Isn't that cute? And it does have a couple of buckets in here somewhere that you're supposed to be able to dump the garbage in there. So I'll take it out of his package later and put it in the box. So that was cute. In the boy section, they had more of the Batman. This one is a different Batman. It's a yellow belt and black Batman, yellow and black, and he was down to $4. The last one I got was, I think, $5.50, and these were 4 and I was like, great, I'll take these too. So that was exciting. And then in the Easter section, I got the Walmart, like, days after Easter. So the only thing I found was one of these. It was $0.25, cents, but it's a sticker um, Facebook. You know, you got your stickers, make silly faces. But for 25 cents, I was like, yes, every little thing helps. And that'll go in a shoebox. So that was my Walmart stuff. Like I said, it's really the clearance markdown stuff in the toy section that I found. Um, and not really Easter stuff there. Okay, also while I was out stopping in stores, I went to Bell's, Bell's Outlet. And I found a few things. These were not clearance or anything, but I had like gift card money so i was just having fun buying some things in the toy section they had this doll it's like a barbie doll type with a mother and a little girl so a mother and child and she's on a little scooter i probably will keep this all together but it is something that you know you could split up and give just that child because he's in a scooter she's in a scooter and you could get the big barbie separately but i thought that was very cute so i got that they also had some um hair accessories in this little purse and I got this one because it did have four bracelets and a lot of accessories. And I can split this up into several different boxes. It was $6.99. Like I said, not the best price necessarily. But I had a gift card. So I was just um, getting some things I could, you know, use with that money. And then in the, uh, the clearance stuff, they still had a Christmas book hanging around. So this one was $0.20. Cents. So I was like, yeah, I think I can use that. And it's a um, touch and feel. So it's got like little fuzzies. A tactile type book and it's a board book so this will go in a two to four year old box so I thought that would be good okay back to some Easter clearance stuff I found I went to a family dollar Dollar Tree combo store and since it was a little bit after Easter the Dollar Tree section had marked down their Easter stuff so this was probably the most fun for me because I found these little stuffed animals there this one and this one this little lamb, very cute, and a little chick kind of thing here. These were all marked down to $0.31 cents a piece. So, yes, I did get all the ones that I could of these cute little stuffed animals. So, that's wonderful. So, if you do go shopping a little after a holiday thing, go to the Dollar Tree Family Dollars, and that's where you can find discounted Dollar Tree stuff, finally marked down. So, they also had a few board books left, cute little board books. These were $0.31, cents, just screen time cute pictures got that one and this one has a lamb so got a few of those whatever was left and they had these um kind of like chloroform or whatever that's called color form um <laughs> little it's a sheet of stickers and then on the inside you can make a scene so there was two different scenes but um once again these were 31 cents so i thought those are very cute and they'll fit in a box just fine and they also had sticker fun these pages these uh bigger but sticker Facebook things for 31 cents so yes I was very excited to find these things at the Dollar Tree so that's my Dollar Tree Easter clearance part that was 31 cents I found some other toys and things that we went ahead and picked up since we were at the Dollar Tree Jacob told you about the uh, Lego thingies the turtles ninja turtles so we got some of those those two he we found a cross stitch um, doohickey thing here nice little craft it's more it's thicker than your cross stitch um regular string it's more like you know yarn type but i thought it was cute so if you're doing a frog thing or, or just whatever it'll be cute like i said i don't i've said before i don't do themes so much so i'll just put it in somebody's box but um this is cute for two to four year olds kitchen um fun accessories these are um velcroed and you can cut them in half with the little plastic thing and then velcro them back together Walmart has similar type things, but for $1.25, you can get something nice and perfect just for your shoebox. Don't need a whole, whole bunch. There we go. And then, since I was with Jacob, he noticed these puzzles that are Avengers. So there's an Avenger puzzle. Those are 48 pieces. Um, I do have Spider-Man and Batman, but he can tell me which one this would go with. Or it doesn't have to go in a theme box, but I think Spider-Man might go with that. 
Um, and then he saw some of these. He said that these were cute and he liked those when he was younger. So I got one of those. He found some fidget spinners. I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree, but he saw they were at the checkout part. We'll probably take them out of the box anyway. I'm going to open this one up. It's the Infinity Cube, which is fun to play with. And we did take one out and play with it at the stores and then put it back in the box and bought that one. But yes, this is a this is a cute fidget spinner. These are fun. And um, so anyway, I got a few of these. Because um, for fidget spinners, it's a, it's $1.25, so that's a little more than like the poppets I usually get. But um, Jacob said he's, he's not really into poppets. He likes this better, this kind of thing. So... Got a few of those. Those are cute. They were in different colors. I got some of the um, Jenga blocks here. The they don't. I mean, these are normally at Dollar Tree, but I don't always see them every time I go, especially in my Dollar Tree. So I got a few of those. Good for building blocks and playing Jenga. And um, also at the Family Dollar side, these were on clearance at the Family Dollar side. So these were twenty three twenty five. Normally like six dollars. So I got some dominoes. A few of those. And then lastly. At the Dollar Tree, we have chalk here. This is color chalk. This is 18 pieces. And when I looked it up at Walmart, similarly, Crayola chalk is like $5. So for $1.25, I grabbed a few of these. I'm going to use these for my two to four boxes and get some chalk boards somewhere or another to go with them. So, and chalk is, in case you don't remember, chalk is considered uh, really an essential item for two to four year old boxes. I think kids around the world must really use chalk and chalkboards more than pen and paper and pencils. So anything you can do with school supplies, it's always a blessing. So this is what I found on my Easter Chris, Easter clearance shopping sort of and just other clearance items and things that, that I thought were fun and useful for my shoe boxes. So I hope that you enjoy shopping for shoe boxes and keep checking those clearance aisles and see what you can find. Every little thing adds up. Helps build a box, and remember, every box matters.